Hello everyone and here's the first project you're going to do in your homemade sketchbook that you've filled with all sorts of different papers and today's project is all about lines and we're going to use ink and it is the sort of ink that you put in a fountain pen uh, it's going to be applied with a brush and applied to these little pieces of card which we cut out which have a long side and a short side and they're literally going to be used as stamps to um, sort of press uh, looking at straight lines pressed on. I'm looking particularly at some pictures I've taken under the pier, this one with the wonderful sort of uh, vertical and crisscross um, iron struts that hold up the old uh, Victorian pier in Eastbourne. Uh, so once you start pressing down with your cardboard, you will create these uh, lines which you are trying to represent a feel of what's going on under the pier rather than a photographic representation where everything's in exactly the right place. I like this very black underneath. When you're standing underneath, there's a very black shadow above your head. Uh, to get that, I'm smearing the card sideways and then going back to looking at some of the horizontals. And then for the C, you can get this sort of nice wavy effect by moving the cardboard up and down. So although you're sort of limited to straight lines in a way, by different types of movement, you can you can get that feel of the waves. And I had a look at this one, which is looking along the pier towards the um, entertainment complex at the end there, using the side of the cardboard to get those horizontal plank shapes that go along underneath. And then the very corner, I've just added a bit of ink to get that dome and again, with that wavy line, you can get quite a good C effect because uh, not all lines are straight. So that's the first two pictures underneath the pier using ink. And uh, the ink sort of does what it wants to do to an extent, which is what makes it quite exciting. I've added a bit of gold there, it's cheating, um, under that dome which is a camera obscura, if you've never visited it. I think it's closed now. Uh, so on the next page, we're gonna use charcoal. I don't think it'll work very well on that envelope, so I'm gonna do it on this piece of squared paper. I've got a box with all sorts of different charcoals in it, fat strips, um, thin sticks. I'm also using this thing called a putty rubber, and the putty rubber is brilliant at removing charcoal uh, sort of cutting back into it. Uh, charcoal in thin bits always breaks, so I break it before I even start. That gives me a small piece I can start with. It's a picture I'm looking at today, very black, but I love the sea underneath. I love the um, reflections of the pillars going into the sand there. So you can rub charcoal out once you've made a mark on it and then go back over it again. So it's different from ink in that the ink, once you put that on, it's there for good. Um, you can use the side of the charcoal to get quite sort of dense black areas. But again, you can wipe it all away and then go back over it. You need to spray charcoal once you've done it with fixative. Otherwise, the slightest touch, even closing the book, can make it all disappear. So I've added a few of the hotel, feel of the hotels in the background. Um, and then I love this where the poles hit the sand and there's all this sort of reflections underneath. Now the putty rubber here is cutting back into it and it's quite good for the water as well if you sort of shush it around a bit. It gives that feeling of the ripples on the sand and you can see that I've cut into the struts as well. I'd also recommend taking photos of wherever you've been drawing because they're really good references to A, sort of look back at what you did and B, you can use them for future drawings and extend what you've already started to do. So I've stuck them on there with the accidental view word above there. So the first thing in our homo sketchbook is going to be ink and charcoal studies of line using the Eastbourne Pier. Hope this is helpful. I need to do a bit more work on that one. And um, I shall see you next time.
Bye.